In this video, we're going to demonstrate some techniques for printing some HTML code a little more efficiently and more productively than typing out a series of print statements with a lot of HTML syntax in it. So uh, with this example, we have just a couple of basic things. We have a, uh, the, the header information, which is this print line for the content type which is required. So this is a content type header. And we have used the CGI module in order to let us be able to access different methods and to parse data that's being sent to our script. So we're going to rework this a little bit. And in the other example that I demonstrated with using this with a hyperlink, uh, we were making this into a real web page. We'd also want to have the opening HTML in order to print it properly to a web page. So we would have a series of, of print statements like print and then our opening HTML tag. We could have another print statement that would have the head tag and inside the head tag we'd have the title tag. So we could have create a series of print statements like this and then at the end to print even more for the closing. So this can be kind of t cumbersome, time consuming, it's a little painstaking, but we have some methods or functions available to us in using the CGI module that can help um, speed this process up a bit. So instead of this content type, we also have a function that we can use that will give us this in addition. So what I'm going to do is restructure this using some of the functions available from the module, the CGI module, that we can use to uh, quickly create some HTML documents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this header, this print statement for the header, and I'm going to include the, the CGI module and I'm also going to get rid of the opening HTML tags. Now to print the header information, well first of all we have to have the, the CGI module in here first before we can start to use any of the methods out of it. And if we want to print the header information then we can just type in print header open close parentheses and semicolon. So that is going to give us the same thing as the print content type text HTML with the two new line characters. So this is much easier and much more efficient. So let me put in here just so that you can see what is being what this is replacing. So this is the way that we had originally looked at including it into your CGI script and now we can use this with the CGI module to replace typing that out each time. So that makes it more, uh, a lot more simple. Now if we wanted to generate the opening HTML tags we can go to print start HTML and let's put in something like generating HTML. And the best way to see what this actually does is I'm going to save this and upload it to the server and then we'll look at the source code once it's up there. We're going to click on one of these links to get our result. And in this page, this is where the HTML was generated. So if I do a view source from this, Here's what was generated. We have the doc type. Now that creates the doc type for an XHTML document. It does the opening uh, HTML tag, opening head tag, creates title tag, and also the meta tag and opening body. And then this is the result of what was printed from our CGI script. So notice the title in here is generating HTML. And so the title of that came from 
right you can see here print start HTML and what I have inside my function uh, inside the single quotes generating HTML so basically I passed it a title to say this is the starting HTML and this is what I want you to put inside my title tags this is certainly much faster and more efficient than putting in a series of print statements to try to print this out each time so let's do a little bit more with this um, let's look at some techniques for printing some HTML tags with content in it and let's also look at the closing you can see that we don't have the closing body and the closing HTML tag so let's say um, right now you can see that this line when it's generated it's not anything it's not a paragraph it's not a heading it's just text that's being displayed inside the body so let's let's say we wanted to make that into a heading tag so we can still use print but let's say we're going to make this an h1 and inside there i'm going to just put this i'm going to wrap this whole thing up inside parentheses so that should generate an h1 tag around this content and as far as our closing HTML is concerned, we'll say print end underscore HTML. So let me save this and I'm going to re upload it to the server and then we'll test it out and see what happens. So, again, to see the result, I'm going to click the link. So now this is our script result and this definitely is now a larger font size and let's look at the code so view source and you can see now it did put it inside a heading one tag and we have body and HTM closing body and HTML tags in here so that is a result of using the CGI module with print header for our opening HTML we can do this with different tags heading tags paragraph tags we have the closing HTML.